So recently, one of my girlfriends comes up to me and says, not a girlfriend, girlfriend, just a girl who's a friend. She says to me, hey, yo, I'm a girl. Hey. Okay, that's not what she said. She says, all men are pigs. And I took a moment inside my head to think, thank you to all the feminists of the world who've made it okay for people to declare that all men are pigs. Let me just test something out in my head for a moment. All women are stupid. Yeah, I just wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that, because that would be a rude, sexist, terrible thing to say. But okay, let's come back to reality. So I say to her, well, you know, not all men are pigs, but uh, how is your boyfriend doing? I didn't know what his name was. He's just some pig. And she said, my boyfriend? Well, he's not my boyfriend anymore. And I said, oh, really? I didn't see that coming. So um, what's the problem? Well, I, where do I start? First, I caught him with Stacy, and apparently she was not the only one. So I'm just keeping track here. I'm like, okay, she doesn't want to pick up artist. That's a problem. <sighs> and second, you know, he just cares more about his car than he does about me. And now he spends more time doing his own hair than he does looking at mine. It's like, I don't even matter to him. All his stuff matters more. So I'm like, all right, she's concerned that this guy does not care about her as much as his stuff. <clears throat> and then she says, and you know what? In the entire time we've been going out, not once have we gone to where I want to go. Not, I haven't been to my favorite restaurant since we got together. I said, okay, the guy doesn't care about your opinion. Okay, that's also a problem. Yes, yeah, so this is just terrible. I'm through. I'm finished with all guys. And I said, well, you know, you've come to me, so I'm not going to do what your magazines say and just give you a hug and tell you you did everything right. I'm actually going to perhaps dispense some advice and ask some questions. And, you know, she was a little disgruntled about that. But I said, okay, look, what kind of guy do you want? No, 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 wait. Let me rephrase that. When you're out there in the world, in some place where you might possibly meet guys, what are you looking for? And she says, well, obviously confidence first. And I'm just rolling my eyes. Oh, every guy in the world is so tired of hearing this tired old line. So I say, okay, this confidence thing. Can you describe to me what that looks like? Which is confidence, confidence. You know what that looks like? You know what it is? Uh, no, no, I'm stupid. I don't know what it is. Can you please inform me? Well, first of all, um, the guy has to come up to me and, like, know what to say and not be nervous. I mean, he has to approach me like he knows what he's doing. So I'm like, okay, that would be pickup artist. Great. And, um... He has to, you know, present himself well. He has to have nice hair. He has to have an, at, least a, at least a decent car. I mean, he can't look like he's totally broke and some nice clothes and things. Okay, a guy who's very into his stuff. Right. <laughs> and when we go out on a date, um, I want to, like, I don't want to have to keep telling him, no, I don't like this place, or yes, I do like this place. I just want him to pick somewhere and be confident that this is the place that I will like. So we can just go there and get past all the, all the questions and everything. Okay, so you want a guy who does not care what you think. So I expressed these to her. You're, you're basically describing the, uh, the pig you're going out with right now. He's very good at picking up women, apparently. Um, he's very interested in his car and his looks and his presentation. He's so interested in that that he's not interested in you. You even told me so. And, uh, he, he apparently doesn't care what restaurant you want to go to, so you never have to worry about saying, yes, I like this place, or no, I don't like this place, so, so what's the problem? Uh, uh, uh. Seriously.